YouTube video. My name is Chinatsu and I'm here with my friends. Hi, I'm Kenny. I'm Jennifer. And I'm Shema. Yeah, so we're going to be talking about five major common sexually transmitted diseases that is all over and you can, you might have had it. You might have seen someone who has had it. We also want to enlighten you guys on how to prevent it. Yeah. So we're going to pick, um, to pick first. Why did you feel about looking at that? I don't know, but I just feel that <laughs> I can read really through. Okay, just, just speak. Let's talk about my human papilloma virus. It's caused by a virus. Yeah. Now, all this virus body to develop, especially dermatological problems like you have like warts. Skin. Yeah, you can have yeah. warts. You can see things like gentle warts. Yeah. Yeah. Gentle warts. On the skin, you see things like um, cauliflower shape. And they have, I have the 18 of... and the 16, 16 that cause the cervical mm -hmm. cancer. So what you want to do is that I bet you all know what cervical cancer is. Hopefully, <laughs> cancer of the cervix. Um, the cervix is, the, is like the mouth or the opening to like the mouth, yeah, the mouth of the womb. Yeah, 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 yeah. So um, the only way you can detect this virus is by going to the doctor and getting a pap smear done. You can't. You can't just stay in your house. Yeah, and just say uh, I'm going to buy this any other way. And usually, usually it's the men that give this to the women. Ha tell me, ask me how. So ask me how. How, how? how? bro? <laughs> when a man goes and maybe after handshaking, you you go to the toilet, yeah, you make contact guys. with your penis, you don't wash your hand, you, you come back and make love to your woman. You can give her HPV. Or you, you can because of unhygienic um <laughs> habits that um, a guy a guy can have. It's usually a problem of a man because the man will have this problem. But then the female would. Yeah. So she's not sleeping around, she's not cheating on you, but she has HPV. Why? Because of you. Exactly. So, and um, what you want to do, usually the, um, the woman, you want to go to the doctor, of course, to get a checkup. Like I said earlier, you get your pap smear done, and the doctor will advise you on what to do. And do not forget condoms, condoms, condoms. The measure, yeah. You just have to do your best to control it. But anybody that has had sex, it's like like you have a probability, a high chance to get this uh, virus once mm -hmm. you have sex. Mm -hmm. All right. You're there. All right. Mm -hmm. Next question. Can I get a round of applause? No. no. <laughs> so I'm going to talk about you? chlamydia, and chlamydia is caused by chlamydia trichomatis, and it's very common in women, like seventy percent yeah. women, and then young also women. young women. women. Yeah. So you mean an old woman can have it? Mostly young, oh, right? Like the teenagers, our age group, and yeah. younger, yeah. slightly yeah. younger from your grandparents. <laughs> <so well. laughs> yeah. but, but, but is that it can be gotten um, um, child childbirth, it can be gotten yeah. child by from your mom, from yeah, your mom yeah, yeah, baby. So, yeah. a baby can also, and also non sexual means, yeah, yeah. like you can tow well, tow well, yeah, tow -well. and then it can be passed orally, oral, oral sex. sex, you can anally. It can be passed, <laughs> <laughs> and also vaginal sex, definitely. Obviously. Yeah, so it has very serious complications, like you can get blind, like yeah, when not treated or not treated properly. Mm -hmm. You can yeah. also have, it can cause infertility, like you're not going to be able yeah. to give birth. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what, you know, you know what infertility is. Yeah. But Even, um, and then the pain, major pain. symptom is peeing urination, like Pain. 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 <laughs> I mean, yes. pain urination. Whoa! <laughs> <Pain. laughs> Painful urination and then pain while having your sexual intercourse. Discharge. Yeah. Just like your discharge. Yeah. Yeah. discharge. Yeah. Her panties. You see. Does it smell? It smells right. Yeah, it, I think. Yeah, yeah. like pus. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What's the color? Pus. You know what pus is? It's yellow. Yeah. Because you know, because you know, candidias also has plenty to discharge. Must be. Yeah. That is like cottage cheese. Yeah. Okay, this is what. And the thing is that you will not know this particular thing. Color is not the only thing you have to detect. You have to yeah. go to the doctor's office and get yourself tested. Yeah. Vaginal smears and all that. Actually, yeah. the yeah. symptoms are very, very, very clear. It's just that you don't have to go to the pharmacy. Just go to the hospital. Yeah. When you see any little vaginal on your underwear, don't, don't just see like something normal. normal. Yeah. Because, because yeah. Of And once you start having painful urination and painful sexual intercourse, 
go to your doctor do not treat yourself do not i repeat do, do not. not and just like she said earlier don't think your guy is the one that wants to go and carry from another woman no? it's not like it's not possible yeah. it's like, possible yeah. Yeah. but it might have been from a handshake yes, yes. from that from guy that wants guy. to carry it from that other girl yes, yes. maybe so i know usually guys wash their hands after they pee not before they pee right so they've used the hand to now grab another thing yes Okay. <laughs> so my own topic is what about you? gonorrhea. What's gonorrhea? We all know about gonorrhea. I like, don't. It's everywhere. It's caused by a bacteria, Neisseria gonorrhea, and like every other STD, it's transmitted sexual intercourse, vaginal, oral, anal sex, whatever. Yeah. Yeah, you can get it in those ways, and it usually yeah. affects warm, moist areas of the body, that like the stop. throat. Yeah, guys, urethra. Yeah, urethra. Yeah. Where, you pee, where you pee from? Where like the pee comes out from? Mm-hmm. Where it comes yeah. from? <laughs> and this this is even the female, <laughs> the fallopian tubes, uterus, everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the major symptom, yeah, is pain during urination. Like that's the first symptom. Yeah. Then you can have in men, you can have a um, post discharge. Then you can have a uh, frequent urination. So you're going to urgency pee. every time you want to pee. But then it's a pain, right? But because then yeah, it's painful when you're urinating. Yeah. It's not like the pee is much, it's just like something small, but yeah. we just Trickle. always want to pee. Yeah. <laughs> and then in women they can have like bleeding in between period cycles. Yeah. You can have pain during that the means like if you're not seeing your period, you're not supposed to see your period and then in between cycles you might in between cycles, like, like you've had your period then it ten days comes. later. You see blood. Yeah. yeah. It's not normal. So, so yeah. Sh- and then you yeah. have lower abdominal pain. Yeah. But usually women are asymptomatic in right. this area. And then no also, symptoms. Yes, yes they, most most cases like most, most cases, cases that um because we also like student doctors, so most cases where we I'm a doctor, do our I'm not a student doctor. Well, we do our clinical practice, we, um, the women that we are exposed to, they usually are asymptomatic yeah. for this gonorrhea. Yeah. Yeah. And this, like, these days, you don't see it in the acute <laughs> state. This is because people, once they see that they are having vaginal discharge or discharge they or pain, the they just go to the pharmacy they and get a drug. And and this drug. Now, <laughs> now, this drug, it will not treat you. It will relieve your symptoms. That's all. But still, the, the bacteria is still in you, so it will cause more damage to you. Instead of bacteria of getting stronger. Yeah, it gets get stronger and resistant. Yeah. So now, when you try to go to your hospital to treat it, it is resistant to the antibiotic. You need it forever. Hence, first <laughs> of all, you die. Go to the hospital first. Thank you. Yeah. And you die. See your doctor. Yeah. That's and it can cause different complications. She's saying that they will die. You will not die. You can cause complications like infertility, <laughs> it can enter your blood, you can cause meningitis, yeah. you can die really. What is meningitis? You know what? Inflammation is. of the brain. Like it's going to explode! <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm going to talk about herpes in place virus. I'm sure you guys have heard of herpes. It's actually very, very. My rap album is dropping. Uh, Please, ne- fuck off! <laughs> yeah, she writes music. <laughs> you can you must stay. My mixtape. My mixtape. It's caused by herpes simplex virus, a virus, and there are two kinds. We have herpes simplex virus one and herpes simplex virus two. So, herpes simplex virus one causes herpes labialis. <laughs> herpes labialis. You're going to see the symptoms on your lips. Uh-huh. I'm sure you guys might have noticed. Cold maybe sword, yeah. you see just cold like sores or fever blisters. Mm-hmm. They yeah, might yeah. not actually uh, just because yeah. of fever. It could be because of herpes. Do not kiss and, people at that. Place. Yeah, and they start yeah. as blisters, and then because they love. They open up and turn to sores, yeah. and they're very painful. Mm-hmm. So there is also herpes genitalis. That one you see it on the dick. Or in yeah, the like vagina, genitalia. like in the okay, mucus of the vagina. Then how would I? How can I tell a normal razor bump or? Oh yeah. Okay, yeah. a razor bump from is just a bump. It has a cover, but like on your sore. When when you like something like that, it's a sore. It's open. It's, a sore. it's, it's open. open and it's very painful. Okay, and so and the razor bump is where? It's, like, it's, where then? it's it's just like here. This camel like toe where area? Are you serious? Yeah, yeah, you guys. <laughs> They can also okay, then yeah. where the HSV It's in the is. vagina, it's like in inside. Uh, it's like the yeah. mucosa. And it's, it's very horrible to look at. It's actually very horrible. Yeah. horrible. Pain and very it. times it comes with fever, anyways. And guys can have this too. You see, guys can have it. It's on, 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 on the penis, yes. it's on the dick. Okay. So, <laughs> um, it can be gotten not just sexually, 
also by contact the same way we talked about it like just touching the it source and maybe not washing your hand and using that same hand to touch your partner yeah so it can be gotten that way too and then contact this yeah. sexual way that we've been talking about the anal yeah. vaginal oral yeah that's right but like labial is very obvious it's it's just <laughs> Something no like making this, out like over here and you and your partner should always get tested because uh, if you check yourself and you leave him he's gonna come back yeah and mean, you can get it again even if you treated yeah, it before so, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah yeah and don't have sex till you're done with your therapy treatment, your treatment. and make sure you use condoms please get yourself tested because std know they show for face so get yourself to. tested so you and your guy you have to get yourself tested so that you know what he has and he knows what you have and you get it treated before you continue, continue. having and I'm get sure tested that. regularly, not just when you're regularly. And, yeah. so that like, we are like what, how regular? Like once a year, kind of regular, yeah? No, I don't know. Twice, like, twice a year. year. Just For girls, girls, especially, do it twice every six months. Because most we are all scared of HIV, right? So this. Yeah. Four that we mentioned increases the risk of getting HIV. HIV. So HIV itself is not a disease. It just kills, it's it like kills your immune system, yeah. causing you to be exposed to every kind of disease out there. So Some you can get every kind of disease. Yes. So you can get everything. <laughs> You can yeah, HIV yeah. is basically a disease that you have everything. You are they are treating you for one thing before you know you get another thing and yeah. then you just be getting a whole bunch of bacteria in your system and viruses. So well, thank God that there are yeah. various treatments to help. A lot of research has gone into HIV, so be careful. Okay, check yourself. So keep being safe Health out well, there. Yeah, get a gynecologist. Drink a lot check of do your pap smear. <laughs> so <laughs> this message is endorsed by your one and only Ken girl. Um, Hair flip. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you all for watching. I hope you guys must have understood and learned. I hope you've been able to convince and not confuse. <laughs> Please try to like this video if it give this video a thumbs up. If it helps you in any way, and subscribe. And subscribe. And subscribe. And subscribe. Amazing. Thank you very much. Adios. Wait, they call me the bad guy, Tony. <laughs> Now I ain't host Cush all in my lap because he hold on wanna roll it I was sliding in the lamb